Greetings programs, Neo Mega Man back again for episode 22 of Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown. And oh boy, we've got another new character making his debut against an old hand. It's Tall Geese. Yeah, the, uh, the villain from Gundam Wing there. One of the villains, I should say. And Tall Geese will be going up against Dark Nation. Yeah, this ought to be an interesting fight for the Curtain Jerker. I have no idea who to put my money on for this match, so let's get down to a random stage and start the fireworks early, how about? This, this ought to be interesting. Tall Geese ready? My pleasure. Dark Nation ready? Here we go. Alright, Dark Nation tried to get things started with a teleport kick, but here comes Tall Geese with a couple of rapid fist combos. Oh, right to the big laser knife. Uh, oh, man. Tall Geese gets hit with the uh, teleport throw. Dark Nation trying to get in there and use his melee combos to his uh, best of his abilities. Oh, Dark Nation kind of getting torn into right now by, uh, by, by the big bad Gundam villain. Oh, big Maelstrom lands and Tall Geese goes to the floor for a moment. Oh, big blower knife shot manages to hit Dark Nation on the ground. Big gunshots. Oh, big super laser wave. Oh, but another, uh, another, god. Tall Geese is comboing so fast I'm having trouble keeping up with Dark Nation's commentary. Alright, again, Tall Geese going for the knives. Big gun special. Oh, big laser wave knocks Dark Nation out of one of his specials. Another big teleport throw, though. There goes Dark Nation. Tall Geese is victorious in round one. He got the cheese victory, however. Alright, Dark Nation again trying to get started with some melee combos. Big strikes, and uh, then he gets hit by the guns. Maelstrom not doing too much there. Again, Tall Geese being. Uh, Tall Geese trying to play his range game and keep Dark Nation targeting him, but right now Dark Nation trying to bring it back. Oh, big Maelstrom lands and Tall Geese takes some damage. Oh, big laser wave special. Freaking uh, Dark Nation better stick to his game or else Tall Geese is going to make a comeback on him. Oh, another big Maelstrom, but again, Dark Nation gets knocked out of it by the big laser wave. Another big Maelstrom, Tall Geese takes that one. Oh, big teleport elbow. Tall Geese had Dark Nation targeted for a moment there. Oh, big teleport kick lands on uh, Tall Geese. Missed the second one, though. More gunshots. Oh, good gravy. Those teleport elbows are going to be Dark Nation saving grace if he can keep them up. Again, Tall Geese coming in for a big melee combo of knife shots. Has uh, Dark Nation targeted, but oh! Oh, the friggin' teleport kick, and Tall Geese goes down. Dark Nation by a thread. Victory in round two. We're going to round three here. Maelstrom up, strike, miss. Oh, big gut punches to uh, Tall Geese there. Big upper, upper into an aerial combo from uh, Tall Geese there. Oh, big, uh, big yellow strike there. Dark Nation trying to bring it in and use his uh, close combat game to be uh, effective. Oh, another big teleport elbow there after the... Uh, after the uh, Maelstrom special. Oh, Dark, Dark Nation missed that Maelstrom. Now kind of getting picked on by uh, by Tall Geese from range. Another teleport kick with that one missed. Mail big melee combo from uh, Tall Geese there. Oh, big teleport kick lands on Tall Geese. Dark Nation kind of getting torn into at the moment. Big Maelstrom gets blocked by Tall Geese's shield. Oh, big teleport elbow. Not a good place to do for Tall Geese. Big strike there. Another big Maelstrom, but unfortunately Tall Geese blocked again. Another teleport elbow. Dark Nation has the edge right now. Tall Geese lands a sweep kick right to a... Uh, Knife shot and lower, uh, lower rifle shots there. Again, Tall Geese trying to make a comeback here on Dark Nation. Dark Nation really has Tall Geese on the ropes. And the teleport kick, yes! Tall Geese goes down and Dark Nation wins. Wow. After a rather close victory in round one, Dark Nation comes from behind and takes the match 2-1. Damn, folks, that was a good curtain jerker match, I'll tell you what. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's all for our first match there, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around, we got another singles match coming your way real shortly. Stick around, because you won't want to miss it. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with our second singles match of the evening, and this one could get ugly. On the one side, representing the Soul Ninjas, we've got the single Soul Ninja, Rain. 
going to be taking on the big bad robot Rocky. Okie dokie then. Let's get down to a random stage and light this candle for the last single match of the day. This ought to be interesting. Rocky ready. Rain looks ready. Here we go. Alright, Rain starts by power charging a little bit. Rocky getting some uh, low kicks off. Rain, oh, big lightning bolt. Here he goes again. Rain missed a jump kick. Rocky got a couple of sweet kicks off there. Rain uh, hits a jump kick right to a lightning bolt to another jump kick right to another lightning bolt. Jesus. Missed a control ball. Rocky comes in with a uh, rolling punch there. Oh, big bear hug to a suplex. That had to hurt. Rocky again. Oh, gets hit with the uh, lightning bolt. Another big uh, short jump kick there. Looks like Rocky counters up uh, Rain's throw there. Rain missed a big super combo. Not a good place. Another bear hug to his suplex. And uh, things are looking pretty even so far. Rocky blocks a, uh, a thunderbolt there. Oh, but gets hit by another one. And another one. Missed the third one, though. Rocky, again, trying to get in there and use his melee combos and whatnot. Rain just sort of jumping in midair. Not accomplishing too much there, Rain. Oh, big elbow there to Rocky's face. Rocky, again, just punishing Rain in the corner, trying to keep him there. Rain jumping around. Oh, lands a big super combo. Kaboom. That had to hurt. Again, Rocky blocks the control ball. Rain lands a slide. A couple of slides, actually. Rocky uh, counters him out of the third one. Oh, big brutality combo. And there goes Rocky. Ow. Rain. Rain pulls off a uh, pretty narrow round one victory. Let's see if Rocky can turn it around and make something happen in round two. Here we go. Rocky lands a sweep kick to start things off. Another couple of low kicks right to a big melee combo. Good. Oh, man, another big dashing double fist comp uh, punch there. Another uh, low sweep kick there. Oh, big chop. Rocky in control of this match so far. Rain barely landed a... Uh, oh, there he goes. Landed a lightning bolt there. Oh, and the control ball happens this time. And, oh, lightning bolt. Right to a jump kick. Rain trying to get things back on track here. Oh, lands a big super combo on Rocky. Big uppercut and knocks him for a row of ash cans. Right into a lightning bolt. Good gravy. Oh, Rocky taunting. Not a good idea. Rain again. Oh, big uppercut after the control ball. Rocky's got to get back in there and try to control this match's pace again. Big, uh, big punch there. Missed a, uh, a dashing special. Another uh, low kick there. Rocky trying to get back into this. Again, oh, Rain land a uh, lightning bolt straight to a, uh, oh, straight to a big melee combo. Another lightning, couple of lightning bolts. Rocky blocks a, uh, a little sweep kick there. Man, Rocky really trying to get back into this. He's got very little health left, and if Rain, yeah, lightning bolt combo right to a jump kick. Rocky's kind of in trouble here. Oh, man, but the sweep kick takes Rain out. I couldn't see his life bar because of the uh, foreground there. Rocky manages to take round two, and we're going to round three again. Oh, big rushing, or big dashing throw there. Finally landed that one. Oh, blocks Rain's big brutality combo. Big super roundhouse kick, though. Oof, another lightning bolt right to another lightning bolt. Rain misses the control ball. Rocky trying to get in there with another big melee combo. Does so. Blocks another sweep kick. Big sweet kick of his own, blocks the brutality combo, but gets hit by the lightning bolts. Another big sweet kick there. Oh, but backs off and gets hit by the lightning bolts for his trouble. Rocky trying to land some low chops there, but unfortunately Rain blocking. Rain jumping in with a jump kick right to a knee to a pair of lightning bolts into a jump kick. Good combo there. Oh, big triple backbreaker. That had to hurt. Rocky dashing in, trying to get some more damage in on Rain here. Rocky, unfortunately, kind of behind in the life total right now. Blocks Ray's big uh, super combo, but unfortunately gets hit with another super roundhouse kick. Right to a knee, right to a couple of lightning bolts. Oh, jeez. Rocky and Rain really trading blows right now, but Rocky getting the, getting the raw end of the deal right now on, uh, in terms of butt kicking. Oh, another big couple of lightning bolts from Rain. Another big lightning bolt from Rain. Uh-oh. Rain gets the finisher. Here comes the big lightning storm. Oh, and Rocky goes kaboom. Damn. Rain pulls off the round two victory pretty narrowly and finishes it off with a fatality. 2-1 victory for the Soul Ninjas. Not too surprising, but I have to give credit to Rocky where credit is due. He pulled out a pretty significant performance in round two there.
pulling off a victory over Rain is nothing to sneeze at. It's even just one round victory. Because as you've seen, Rain can get pretty dangerous when he gets going. So, that's it for the singles division. Couple of round threes already. I can only I can only hope and pray that the doubles division delivers the same kind of thing tonight. So yeah, doubles match number one coming up. Don't go away. You're gonna want to stick around for the whole episode, folks. See you in a second. And welcome back to our big our first big doubles match of the evening. Where we've got a fairly interesting match going on here between Kenji and Tessa and Urza and Saber. Now, Urza and Saber have been struggling on my show, not doing, like, the best, perhaps. But Kenji and Tessa, on the other hand, have had pretty stellar performances, even if they've lost. So this ought to be a very interesting match. Both teams need some momentum, and one of these teams is going to have to lose. So let's see who's got the gas and who's going to pass. Alright, Kenji and Tessa look ready, Urza and Saber look ready, here we go. Alright, Kenji just restarted with a big dashing and punch there, a couple of uh, shadow clones. Kenji and Tessa have them, have Urza and Saber, or had Urza and Saber, in between their attacks. Big spinning kick from Kenji right to a body slam. Uh, Tessa trying to hold up the back there, gets a couple of spells off. Oh, Urza and Saber comboing on Kenji right now. Kenji again coming in there, big... Uh, Claw special miss there on, uh, on Saber. Oh, big lightning spear. Kenji gets the uh, wind special off on Urza. Urza and Saber trying to come back here. Oh, big flamethrower special from Kenji doing some pretty good damage to Urza and Saber. Kenji and Tessa kind of getting the butt kick right now, although it's the light totals of Prep trying to get it even again. Tessa, this is a big ice special there. Another couple of shots from. Uh, Kenji on Saber. Oh, big, big, uh, slicing blade combo from Kenji. Again, Kenji and Tessa trying hard to keep up with Urza and Saber here. Looks like they finally got an edge. They're trying to pin Urza and Saber in the corner. Oh, big couple of combos there on Saber. Big, uh, big throw from Kenji. Sa uh, Saber pinned between their attacks. Now uh, Tessa pinned between Urza and Saber. Not a good place to be. Big super uppercut sword special. Looks like uh, Kenji has uh, Urza pinned in the corner. There goes Saber. Urza in trouble now. Oh, big uh, dashing special there. A couple of big ghosts. Kenji pinned in the corner. Urza trying to make a comeback on her own. Big Angel Blade special, but oh, the Force Orb. Too much right in the fire spell. Takes Urza out. Wow, Kenji and Tessa barely won round one. Let's see if Urza and Saber can pull something off and win round two. Again, Kenji starting things off with his speedy attack. Urza and Saber trying to push forward. Oh, man, Urza gets knocked out of the big Angel Blade special. Tessa just sort of blocking right now. Big win special from uh, Saber, it looked like. Oh, big dashing cake special from Urza. Uh, Urza gets knocked up by the fan special, gets knocked to the ground. Again, Urza's big win special. Knocking Kenji and Tessa for a loot now. Kenji and Tessa are in trouble. But Urza and Saber almost got pinned in the corner there. They're trying to make a comeback. Man, big uh, big aerial combo there from, from Urza. Kenji already down. Tessa now in some deep, very severe trouble. And down she goes from a big sword combo from Saber. Wow. A commanding comeback victory in round two. And we're going to round three here. Kenji immediately starts with a knife special right into uh, Tessa's uh, ice special. Kenji gets in with a big throw. Urza, or Urza and Saber trying to pin Tessa and isolate her. Probably not a bad idea since she's the weaker of the two party members. Urza and Saber coming in with big melee combos. Kenji and Tessa just seem to can't keep up right now. Ice special lands on both Urza and Saber and only so much. Kenji teleporting around, getting some melee combos going. But if Urza and Saber can pin Kenji and Tessa between their attacks like that, they can put in some dirty big damage. Kenji and Tessa kind of getting their asses wrecked right now. Big win special from uh, Urza there. Looks like Tessa's down. Kenji in trouble. Big, another big win special. Big aerial combo from uh, Saber there. Big shoulder tackle from Saber. Urza coming in with the aerial combo. Kenji trying to make things happen with his speed, but Urza with a dashing sword strike puts Kenji down. And the ladies have pulled it off. The armor ladies take the win 2 1 over Kenji and Tessa, no less. Wow, there's some momentum for you. 
big 2-1 victory for Urza and Saber, and finally the armored ladies have a good victory under their belts. Wow. That was, uh, that was a hell of a doubles match. All round threes so far, and some pretty, some pretty shocking results so far, I'd say, too. I mean, you know, Rocky pulling off the round three, Tall Geese uh, getting come up on by Dark Nation, and Rocky pulling the, already said Rocky pulling the round three, and now Urza and Saber coming back from behind, again, kind of like Dark Nation, to claim the 2-1 here. I can only hope that our final mixed double set of the night uh, can deliver a match of this kind of caliber as well. So, don't go away, folks. I'll be right back in just a second. And we're back with our second doubles match of the evening. And oh boy, oh boy, look who it's back. We've got the Hall of Famers, Kung Lao and Batosai, going up against the struggling Spawn and Spiral. If Spawn and Spiral can pull off a victory here, it makes some big momentum in their favor. But do they have what it takes to overcome the sword strikes and martial arts of the Hall of Fame KLB? Well, I don't know. So let's find out. Get to a random stage. Let's see if the fireworks happen again. Alright, Spawn and Spiral ready. KLB ready. Hope I'm ready. Round one, here we go. All right, the toast I get things started with big sword slash comes out getting the hat throw off. Pinning, the two of them are pinning Spiral in the corner. Big time special, big spinning blade special from uh, Batosai. Spiral getting caught between their attacks again. Spawn better do something to get in there and save his partner. Kind of like that big green laser wall special. But again, Kung Lao Batosai speedy attacks. Oh, here comes the big hat. Just dicing through Spawn and Spiral right now. Kung Lao Batosai showing why they're Hall of Famers. Spawn with a big melee combo trying to put on some, uh, some damage there. But unfortunately, Spiral gets off. Spawn in some big trouble. Big sword uppercut right to a big sword strike from Batosai. And Spawn goes down as well. That wasn't a flawless victory, you silly announcer. All right, here we go. Spawn and Spyro again. Oh, man, getting just juggled by the Kosai. Oh, wow, dude. Big laser wall special putting on some actual damage on Kung Lao and Batosai, but Kung Lao and Batosai didn't like it. Big sword blade spin combo, and Batosai just going absolutely ape shit in the corner. Another big hat special from Kung Lao, and Spawn and Spiral are in some severe trouble already. There goes Spawn. Spiral just getting diced right now. Batosai really living up to that Manslayer title. He hasn't even let Spawn hit the ground until just then. Missed a big sword dice there, but another big aerial sword slash puts Spiral down. Now, I don't know if that one was a flawless victory or not, but it was... No, it wasn't a flawless victory. They got the, uh, they got the big green laser wall special in their face. But damn, what a 2-0 spanking of the struggling Spawn and Spiral from the Hall of Famers KLB. Whew. Well, that was quick. KLB showing why they're not to be trifled with and why they are actual Hall of Famers, even on my show. And, uh, yeah, they put the nail in the coffin on that one. Spawn and Spiral are in some severe trouble. Okay. Well, that was our last doubles match of the evening. Stick around for a very special 4v4 match. You're not going to want to miss this one, trust me. So I'll be right back. And welcome back to our big mixed 4v4 match. Now this one is a mixed 4v4, but it's still got some pretty thematically cohesive teams in it. And probably a bunch of new characters. On the left side, we've got Magnet Man, an old hand. But then also Night Man from Mega Man 6. Skull Man from Mega Man 4. And Toad Man who's already seen some action on my show. Now we've got one new character on the other team, too, in Adamus, the big ice user from Shades of Manhattan, teaming up with Frey, Wildstar, and Bloodtide. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, folks. I can tell this one's going to be rowdy just from looking at the teams themselves. So pardon me if my commentary gets a little messy and I miss some of the action. But oh boy, this this is going to be good. All right, off to a random stage. 
Let's light this candle. Alright, Adamas, Frey, and Wildstar are ready. ready Looks like Magnet Man, Toad Man, and uh, Soul Man are ready. Oh, big, big melee combos to start with from the uh, Robot Master, but here comes Blood Tide doing some pretty damn good damage for her. Adamas throwing out some Ice ice Ball specials. Night Man, oh, big, uh, big couple of big uh, make, uh, Flail specials. Good dream, he's just going bonkers with those Flails. Again, more flails knocking Adamus out of a big special move there. Nightman and Magnet Man look like they're doing okay for life total. Oh man, Adamus goes down. Frey not looking so hot either. Wildstar seems to be the last man standing for her team. Good gravy on a ha and a half shell. This is not looking good for Team Shades of Manhattan. Wildstar the last one standing and she's just barely standing. Oh, big sweet kick from Magnet Man right into the Toad Flush. That's just excessive, Toad Man. And Team Robot Masters is uh, is victorious in round one. Here we go for round two. And again, Team Shades of Manhattan just getting laid into immediately a couple of uh, the three, a, a trio of big flail specials from Nightman. Again, he's just going bonkers with those flails. This is unbelievable. Magnet Man kicking back and hanging with the Magnet Missiles. Blood Tide trying to bring out some damage to her team, but Adamus and Frey already down. Wildstar again, the last one standing. And Skullman puts her down with a big aerial combo right into Nightman's big aerial flails. Good God Almighty, I think Team Robot Masters may have broken a speed record on that one for a 4v4 match. That was... That was brutal and unforgiving, man. The Robot Masters making short work of Team Shades in Manhattan, and... I didn't expect them to. I was expecting a hell of a lot closer match than that, but Team Shades of Manhattan just couldn't get off the ground with uh, with Nightman getting all those special bars and just spamming the flail special to death. I mean, good gravy. That's, uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, as it were. Oh, well. Four Shades of Manhattan. They take a loss here. So, that's all she wrote, folks. That's uh, that's all for episode 22. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you guys in a week. This is your host, Neo Mega Man, signing off. End of line.